What a weekend it has been. I've been toying with the idea of skinnier brows. Do you know what? Who cares? I could build some muscle with that goodie bag, you know? It is my bestie's birthday. When I say this is heavy, that is a learning curve for me. Wow. <laughs> Proud of you. Guys, 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 howdy. And I went to my storage unit to grab this box, my spring summer box. I think this is quite literally all the spring summer clothes I have now. And I don't even know if I want to keep all of it, to be honest. But as it's got warmer, I literally have nothing to wear because everything I have in here is like fleeces, jackets, joggers. So I'm very happy that we've managed to go and grab this box today because Sephora, they're opening the store up in Manchester today in the Trafford Centre. And I believe this is my invitation. I love this. Proper retro old school vibes. I need to figure out what the hell I'm doing, what the hell I'm wearing. I'm going to jump in the shower and wash my hair. And then I need to go through this box and figure out something to wear because I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if there's anything in here that I want to wear. I can't believe Sephora's in the UK and let alone the UK, but Manchester. I remember back in the day, every time I'd go to like France or anywhere in Europe on holiday, I'd always pay a visit to Sephora. I do want to update my beauty stuff a little bit. So I'm very excited. Although I don't know if they're selling anything. We'll see, but I'll just have to head back on another day. I'm going to stop babbling. Listen, it's 1 p.m. We need to leave at six. And I know that's five hours, but listen, when you've got hair like mine, Five hours is never enough time. I think I'm gonna do like a curly but slicked back look. Curly bun with bits sticking out. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, especially with the way my nose is at the moment, but do you know what, who cares? Yeah, my nose isn't the best, but it's not the worst. Like I don't look deformed. It still works, I can still breathe. It's a bit difficult obviously when you go to like influencer things and you know people have their cameras out and stuff and I know from the side I feel really self-conscious, but if I could never get a nose job again, I'd still be fine. Like it's really not that big of a deal. I'm gonna try and book in with my surgeon for a revision in October. So we've got quite a few months of this nose, so we better get used to it. <laughs> okay, I've decided to do something, and this could be, this could be a really great idea, or it could be an awful idea. I guess we're gonna find out. Where's my little razor? Okay, I found my weapon of choice. I'll go into the spare room. You're gonna just have to ignore the mess for now. It's always a mess until it's not, and then it's a mess again. I've been toying with the idea of skinnier brows because I look back at really old photos when I used to get my brows threaded and stuff, and they were definitely thinner but I feel like it suited my face. I've been toying around with them and kind of like, you know, like with a product, making them skinnier instead of brushing them upwards. And I quite like how it looks, but the only problem is I've had microblading. So I don't know if, if I shave too much, you're just gonna see the microblading underneath anyway. But obviously in true Tasha fashion, I'm gonna do this the day I've got an event where I could really regret it. So I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I think it's gonna look cute, it's gonna be fine. Now the issue is trying to match it. I'm not very good at this shaving malarkey. Probably need to do my moustache as well. We'll do my makeup later and then you guys can let me know what you think. Now I'm gonna get in the shower. Really, really quickly gonna show you guys my outfit. Sorry if the angle's weird. Wearing my toga puller, sandal things, I guess. Boyfriend's jeans are from, is it Olive? Yes. Olive. Skims bodysuit, weekday jumper, weekday belts. The classic diesel bag is downstairs. Oh, I need to put my rings on. Okay, bye. We are here at the Trafford Centre. I think we've spotted it. It was 
absolutely hectic in there, but in the best way possible. People showed up for Sephora, which is no less than what I would expect because Sephora's a cult favorite, you know? So many good brands in there that I'm so excited about. And you guys, when you see the goodie bag, I'm gonna have to do like a little haul or something tomorrow because I could build some muscle with that goodie bag, you know? We are starving. I think the bubbles have gone to our head a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> What a fun event. Thank you so much to Sephora for having us. Very nostalgic, like that's what Sephora feels like for me. It was so much fun. I'm so excited to look through that goodie bag and I'm so excited that Sephora are actually finally here. It's been years in the making, let's be real. Also, big shout out to the lovely DJ. She um, caught my attention and was like, by the way, I've been watching your videos for ages. <laughs> it's always so crazy still to meet you guys. Um, so hey girl, if you're watching, thank you so much for saying hello. It was so lovely to meet you. I wish we could have um, had a bit more of a chat, but you was doing your thing and um, doing it well. Just wanted to give her a little shout out because she was awesome. Over. <laughs> Hello everybody. I'm back in London. I belong here. Let's make it happen. I miss it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Mum's just doom scrolling on Instagram. <laughs> I'm currently getting ready because it is my bestie's birthday today. Yeah, it's Emma's birthday. It's actually on a Saturday. How wonderful. So we are going at at. Do you know what I mean, babes? It's currently 22 past three. Got my Duolingo notification bugging me. I'm gonna make sure I do that one before I go out today because otherwise it ain't gonna happen. I've just been at mum's doing a bit of work. I need to make a thumbnail and I don't think I'm gonna have time to make it before I need to leave. So I'm gonna get back tonight, maybe in the early hours of the morning, let's be honest, and have to do it then. So wish me luck on that. But I'm saying it now so that I have to do it drinking my electrolytes to stay hydrated and hopefully not be hung over tomorrow. <laughs> Mum, we need to tell them what you're doing tomorrow. Come in. I'm doing the Bridge Walk of London. It's for lymphoma cancer. Yeah. And um, so it's uh, seven miles. Mum's already done two marathons, by the way, which is insane. Twice. And she at started night. at midnight. That's <laughs> night. crazy. Mm -hmm. Goals. So nice, good. So that's tomorrow. Yeah. So I'll be out there early morning and come back in the afternoon. You'll, pr you'll probably be going out and I'll be coming in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so God knows, yeah. I'll prefer, I'll prepare the coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> Proud of you. Ciao. I've even given mum a couple of these. So you can give us your review on that tomorrow. I'll get you. That's not how it went. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, whenever us three are together, me, Hannah and Emma, it's always a vibe, but it doesn't even matter what we're doing, so. Unfortunately, the weather's kind of letting us down today. It's actually nicer in Manchester than it is in London, which is crazy, but don't matter. Also, I have no idea what to wear. Apologies for not really sharing much of my time in London. Obviously I went out for my friend's birthday and I never really know what to share on a night out because it is a very, um, I don't know, like a personal intimate moment, but also you're just kind of drinking, chatting away, dancing. So there's not too much to share. And I also don't wanna have my camera in everyone's face all the time, especially when we don't get to see each other that often. Like I really cherish those moments that we have together. I think if I do go to London more often and see my friends more often, then I'll definitely share more of that part of my life but it just feels so strange not seeing each other for ages and then me just having my camera out you know I just I cherish those moments and I get so engulfed in just the energy of being with my best friends that I completely forget to pull a camera out 
to be honest. But yeah, it was a really fun night actually. We went to a place on Hackney Wick. Well, a few places that were all right next to each other pretty much. There was like a little DJ and an outdoor bar. And we sat outside by the water, by the canal. It was so nice. And then yeah, just hopped around to a couple of other places. I got home at 5.30 in the morning, guys. My mum was waking up as I was getting home. And let me tell you, I had to do some work before going out and I didn't finish it. So I, I came back at 5.30 a.m., made my thumbnail for the last video that you watched and then went to sleep. And when I woke up, I felt okay. And then a couple of hours later, uh -uh, it was, it was rough. Me and my girls were meant to go and have some food together, but I just couldn't hack it. And also my mum, so she did her walk for lymphoma with her girls and they went across, I think, 10 different bridges in London. I just think she's such an amazing woman. So she let me know when she was on her way back and I went and met her at the station and we ended up getting some ice cream in the area that she lives. And it was so nice. And then we went and sat on the green, lay in the sun. I was feeling very ropey also, so we needed to kind of stop and start. And then, yeah, just went home, chilled. I was sick i don't know what's going on because i don't usually get hung over but i think the last two times that i've drunk i've had white wine because i don't really enjoy like spirits and stuff anymore i love wine more so red wine but i was having white wine spritzes and i think it's the acid in the white wine because i am never sick after drinking i might feel a bit tired but i never ever throw up so that is a learning curve for me. I will not be drinking white wine on a night out anymore. Oh, I've just had such a nice few days. I feel so refreshed and just like happy. So I think I need to dedicate some more time to just doing maybe a few more trips to London. Cause I don't go that often anymore. Cause it is quite expensive to get the train. Even just twice a month, it would make such a difference. I think to just my happiness, you know? Cause I feel quite isolated here and I tend to just stay at home and I don't, I don't want to do that and I have the choice. So I just need to push myself to make more plans. And obviously when the weather's nice as well, it's such a vibe in London, so yeah. Anyway, that is that. I've got quite a few bits to do and there's nothing more interesting happening for the day, except Joshua's gonna come home. He's actually out right now. Um, So I guess we're just gonna have like a big catch up cause we've not seen each other in a few days. Other than that, I guess I'll see you tomorrow maybe i don't really know what i'm doing this week i need to get my hair cut that is one thing that i need to do i'm gonna try and see if i can book that now and enjoy the evening I'm sorry, how have I not shown you what was in the Sephora goodie bag yet? Oh my god, when I say this is heavy, it's not a joke. It's huge. I haven't actually had a look in here yet. There's too much stuff in here, like it's insane. As always, I'm so grateful. Anything that I won't use, I'll either give it to family or friends or to charity. It just blows my mind that I'm this lucky. Curl Smith. Feather like protein cream. Huda Beauty Lip Contour Duo. It's actually quite cool to see what brands Sephora hold because I don't know all the brands they hold and I know that some of them you cannot get in the UK until now, obviously. Like I've never tried makeup by Mario, but I've heard so much about it, but I don't know if anywhere in the UK stocks this, like in store, apart from Sephora now. Ooh, it's called Bronx Baby. I've not worn lipstick in ages. I used to love me like a bold, velvet matte lip you guys remember back in the day i don't know if that would suit me but it's a really nice color makeup forever ultra hd setting powder mario badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water i feel like i need this at the moment because my skin is super angry kosas brow pop i'm guessing it's a brow pencil i'm very excited to try kosas i've heard a lot about their concealers hopefully this will be the right color medium brown sounds about perfect bronson out oh this dog sick of it mate absolutely sick of it do you hear me <laughs> i've got color wow in here extra large bombshell volumizer i'm not going to need this but i do really like their products we love tatcha dewy skin cream got a little mini of that and a cream cleanser that's exciting grown alchemist hydra restore lip balm i've got a hand cream by them that i really really like actually a skin defense primer what else is in here medicate hydrate b5 liquid rehydration serum hello clean hard water shampoo packaging looks very aesthetically 
pleasing. Ooh, there's a big tub of something in here. Adwoa Beauty Blue Tansy Reparative Mask for damaged or colour treated hair. I can always do with a new hair mask, honestly. I want to smell it. Ooh, she's thick. Wow. Kerastase Elixir Ultime. Love Kerastase. Paula's Choice Exfoliate. I've already got one of these, so I'll probably give this to somebody else. I've not actually tried this yet, but I've heard good things about it. Oh, so good. Ooh. Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush. I've been dying to try one of these. I just want to see if it lives up to the hype. Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Flexible Lifting Gel. We've got the Glossier Perfume. I tried to smell this in store, but I think because there was so much going on, my sensory uh, capabilities were not at full effect. So I think it's one of those perfumes that adapts depending on your own kind of scent. It's a very fresh, clean smell. It kind of reminds me of the Malin and Getz Strawberry. Tartlet XL Tubing Mascara. Always looking for new and wonderful mascaras. <gasps> my faves, UK Lash. This is gonna be like the fifth tube that I have now. Probably give this one to my mum. Glow Hub Buff Blush Glow Up Color Stick. All of the stuff that I keep, I'll be trying it out throughout my vlogs because what was I saying the other day that I wanna get some new beauty bits? I do wanna update my beauty stuff a little bit, so. Oh, I kinda love the color of that. It's a very bright, like, corally color. It's perfect for summer. That packaging's really fun as well. Kinda looks a bit like a sex toy. Wow, Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray. Sephora Size Up Extra Large Waterproof Mascara. Bioma Creamy Jelly Cleanser. I love this packaging. I've not tried this stuff before. I've heard a lot about it. I'm excited to try that. And it's gonna look really nice in the bathroom as well. The tried and trusted Dr. Chart Sicker Pair. This probably be quite good for me now because my skin is very red and irritated. So Olaplex number three. I don't really use Olaplex. There's just not enough of it for me for the price because I use so much kind of conditioner in my hair. So that's a giveaway item for sure. Yay! Neon candle. I love neon. Oh my god, guys, it smells straight up like lavender. That is so nice. <coughs> is that daddy? Hello. I don't think this battery's gonna last long enough. Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I'm giving that to my mum because I know she loves it. The Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Obsessed with this. Super nice and gentle as well if you've got sensitive skin. Oh, God, I can't believe there's still stuff in here. Moroccan oil. Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I actually need a new setting spray, so I'm glad I've got that to try out. Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. Oh, so many new mascaras to try. Nest New York Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. I'm gonna smell it, but I'm not the biggest vanilla fan. Who knows though? Oh, that smells quite nice actually. It kind of reminds me of the, is it Laura Mercier? One size tacky hydrating primer. So how cool does that look? Kind of strange, like little fish eggs in there or something. I've also not heard of One Size before, so I'll be interested to see how that works and learn a bit more about the brand. Eradicate Kate Somerville Blemish Treatment. This is 100% something that I'm gonna make use of. And this, the Pixie Clarity Blemish Stickers. That is another thing that I could definitely make some good use of at the moment. But I'm also worried that I'm gonna make my skin worse. I don't know. Apologies, I've had to switch to my phone because my camera died. Another bag. This will be useful for traveling actually to put all like my bathroom stuff in. So that's quite nice. Cordially Vino Perfect Brightening Dark Spot Serum. Another thing that I'm definitely in need of at the moment. Non-commodogenic, that's good. Floral Street Fragrance Discovery Set. Everyone's favorite, but not mine. <laughs> the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It's I. Like, I just think it's a bit overrated and seriously overpriced. <gasps> my favorite slip skinny silk scrunchie why did that take me so long i've literally got two of those in my hair right now i love these sephora love the lift instant curl lifting volume mascara daily luna the everywhere spray to wipe instantly turns tissue into eco-friendly skin friendly wipes we've also got a hello clean hard water conditioner Vanessa myrix myrix beauty blurring buddies one blurring balm powder universal one blurring balm powder flushed not heard of this brand before tap with fingers to smooth and blur textured areas I don't know what this is, but I'm intrigued. Amica Soul Food Nourishing Mask and the Cure Intense Bond Repair Mask. I like Amica. Sephora Purifying Clarifying Face Mask. I think it's a sheet mask, yeah. Dyson Supersonic Styling Accessory. That looks quite cool. And it also looks like it'd be good for detangling curls and stuff. It kind of just reminds me of the comb attachment for a hairdryer. That is everything. I now need to sort the flat out because we've got friends coming tomorrow. So I need to get cleaning. Excuse the car alarm, guys. <laughs> okay, so basically, 
I needed to give you a bit of context before you see the next clip. It's nothing crazy or anything, but I'm just saying, please press play. And I basically tried to say that to Joshua because we were watching something and I very quickly figured out that it's a tongue twister. So I want you guys to try and say, please press play, like quick, like please press play, like just normally quickly. It's so hard. I thought I was tripping, but then Joshua tried to say it as well and he couldn't get it either. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> please press play. <laughs> please press play. <laughs> Please press pray. <laughs> That's so difficult. Please press. Because you probably press think you're going to get it as yeah. well. <laughs> okay, I've got it this time. Please press play. Please press play. Pre please press play. Wow. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's a tough one. Please press play. <laughs> please press play. 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 It's so hard. Do it quick, like really fast. Please press play. You smashed it. No, you do it. Wow. Please press play. Please press play. Please press play. <laughs> Please press play. Please press play. Wow, that's <laughs> honestly. Good afternoon. Happy Tuesday, guys. Let me set you down. What a weekend it has been. I had my girl, Hannah, one of my best friends came up to visit with her baby and the baby's father. Yeah, we just had a really nice weekend. Didn't film much, obviously, because the baby was around and I don't want to expose her, you know, I, I, I want to respect people's privacy. The one thing I did film was when me and Hannah went to the Trafford Centre. I literally think I filmed myself eating at Wagamama's. <laughs> We've just, you know, had a big catch up, had some drinks, met up with some friends and just chilled at home and looked after the baby. So yeah, it was such a nice weekend. It's always so nice to have them up. And again, I just feel refreshed, rejuvenated. I feel good, I feel happy. Yeah, I didn't film the few days leading up to that because I literally went on like a manic cleaning session over like two days. I completely deep cleaned the flat because it just needed it. And obviously I've been back and forth to London, so I've not really had time in the in-between to like, yeah, get it as tidy as I want it. So I just took that opportunity to like really go in. But yeah, it's been a great weekend. Yesterday, however, when I was cooking us all a roast before they were gonna drive back down to London, I managed to spill boiling hot water from the boiling potatoes all over my right hand. I'm gonna show you guys, it's a big blister. Otherwise it's not that bad, but if you're squeamish over blisters, look away. Yeah, look at that. It is huge. I don't know if you can tell, but my fingers are all burnt across my knuckles and stuff as well. So that's what I'm dealing with today. I went and spoke to one of the pharmacists in Boots just to make sure that there's nothing that I should be doing. She just said to keep it dry, clean, and not to pop blister. So there's not really much I can do work-wise in terms of like makeup or showing stuff without having to make people look at something so unsightly. So today we're chilling. I've just done an a cardo food order because we needed some bits in. Just staples like olive oil and, you know, just the regular weekly things that I like to eat. So I've just done that, which is good. That's coming tomorrow. And, oh my God, finally. So I ordered this dining table. I couldn't even tell you the date ages ago. Let me see if I can find the date. Oh my God, it's been ages. Okay, so I ordered this dining table from dusk two months ago, 22nd of March. It's now the 28th of May, March, April. Yeah, so over two months ago. And I was like, hold on a minute, this was meant to come quite a while ago. Because I've been so busy, I've not really been keeping an eye on it. But then I got an email from them saying, sorry about the delay, hopefully it should come in like the next 10 days. And finally, finally, it's coming tomorrow. I've got my dining chairs already. They're in those boxes right there. Kind of everything's ready to go. I do need to order like some coasters or something because I don't want to ruin the table immediately. And I know if I even get one tiny little scratch or watermark on it, it will really stress me out. So I'm going to order that as well. And there's some other things I kind of want to do for the table too. But the main base, the table is coming tomorrow. That's exciting. But yeah, today I'm literally just catching up on stuff because I feel like I always like disassociate over a weekend or if I'm like with my friends or my family, like I completely disconnect. So then I just have a lot of stuff to catch up on work-wise and like with people. So I'm gonna do that now and edit a little bit. I don't even know what's in this vlog to be honest. It's so discombobulated. It's been almost a week that I've not really caught up on much. So I'm gonna take today to do that. Thank you. 